Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose, this is Delilah's Spiritual Spot, coming with your weekly reading for August 16th through the 22nd, 2021. Sorry about my absence. Uh, I had some family issues, positive family issues. Um, and then I had some shoulder pain and I wasn't feeling well, but I am okay now. I'm a little raspy because I've been doing these videos, um, but I'm happy to be back. So first card out disowned self wow so you're you're back into um and i don't know why i said it like that but i feel like this is a hiccup like you were up and then you're down is what they're is what they're showing me so the disowned self i feel like you, you've had a little hiccup you're not rooted in your power so you're you're, you're feeling a little depressed a little down at this time and then you have mindful group think um, I think you need to get around people. I need to. I think you need to get outside or start communicating with like-minded people. Is what I want to say. I do six cards on the table: so subconscious, conscious, and advice from spirit. What's going on in our mind? What's happening now in our waking day right now? And um, outcome slash a little bit of advice from spirit on how on how to work whatever situation out. Uh, that you are in. So let's get to it. If I didn't say before, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the, hit the notification button, give me a thumbs up. I do go live with free readings. Also, this is for all Aquariuses, so take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Yeah, moving forward and on, um, not knowing exactly what to leave behind, I'm getting that um, vibe indecision is what they just said to me indecision right a lot of fighting in your conscious position which is leaving you into that depressive state i think the people you're surrounding yourself with are not your tribe and you really need to seek out your true tribe emperor spirit great card to have in the outcome slash advice column king of wands king of cups <laughs> three of pentacles and then we have the nine of cups at the bottom so ultimately you're going to end up in a happy place there's a lot of confusion here with these two masculine spirits um someone from the past versus someone in the present and i think that there's there's a little bit of crossover for you um of picking up the same types of people and i think that's where we're we're going with here so you know you want to move forward and on right emotionally right from this last person this whoever that king of wands represents it could be male or female i think you want to, wanting to move on past the person in your past like someone who has caused you a lot of pain and inflicted pain on you they are still on your brain. You're still thinking about them. And this is what's causing the issue here. The issue is causing a lot of fighting and not only fighting in your psyche, but actual fighting and arguments and discord in your current relationship, right? I think that you have a lot of baggage from the past. And if it's not you, it's them. There's a lot of baggage from the past that keeps uh, keeps regurgitating on your relationship like causing a lot of issues and a lot of bringing up the past and you know i think that the problem is is that you have a tendency to let people walk all over you um that's not always a trait you're accustomed to i feel like that's not normally who you are or who you used to be i feel like this last relationship took something away from you that you're trying to get back you're trying to fight for there's just a lot of moving cogs here um, which causes a lot of mental conflation and confusion um, I don't know who this king of one is if they remind you of your past relationship then they need not to be there right you don't want to keep repeating if it's the same if there's a lot of if there's a lot of conflict here there's conflict on so many levels some of you are getting the physical some of you are getting emotional some of you are getting both 
the most I feel is psychological. So many of you are being controlled or have been controlled. And that's what the issue is. That's why you're not rooted. That's why you don't know who you are. This is who you are. This is who you used to be. This is who you need to get back to. You need to be that leader. You need to be smart and strategic in how you move forward, right? You need to set the tone of how you're gonna be treated and not how people are going to treat you. And if someone says, well, it was okay before, because I don't know why that just came up. It was okay before. It never mattered before. It matters now, period exclamation point you have the three of pentacles clarifying that and that's group think getting around healthy people people who lift you up people who lift your spirits up people who are mindful of your feelings that's who you need to be around that soul tribe if you surround yourself with people who make you feel angry confused um anxious then those are not your tribe and i don't care if you're related to them i don't care if you have children with them um, that's not how you're supposed to feel you're supposed to feel good not that you don't have the odd argument yeah here again moving forward right you yeah you really need to move on you really need to move on and forward uh because because the blindfolds are gonna come off. They're gonna come off with that with that two of swords, right? You're, again, confused about the situation, confused about what decision to go into. This person is gonna make a decision based on blind faith. You see how that moon is just um, giving her energy or sending her power. Um, that is you. You're going to start to receive. Make sure you're ready to receive and you're ready to act is what I want to say to you. Here's, here's the king of wands here. This is the king of passion, right? This is who you need to be. You need to be in charge of your mind, body, and spirit. You need to be the emperor. Here's the moon card again. Well, you didn't get the moon card. You got the moon here. But when the moon card is present, there's you need to trust your instinct. Not only do you need to trust your instinct, you know, you don't know everything. There are things hidden from you, and that's okay. You don't need to know everything. You you need to know about you. The only person you can change is yourself. The world card is right underneath it, and we can go keep going forward. You have the world card, meaning that you're going to be okay. You're going to have your wishes and dreams fulfilled. You just have to have a little faith. And here, if I do, I can do this reading all day here with the three of um, cups there, the ace of cups, lots of healing and light being sent to your way. Finding your group, your soul tribe is very important for you, Aquarius. It's important for you to move forward. Let's see here. Final card for you. I will. Not that maybe, not that sometimes, I will. You will find the strength, you will move forward, you will get back to who you are. You will get back to the old you. And this is your reading Aquarius. I'm Delilah Rose and this is Delilah Spiritual Spot.